Jack Ryan is currently appearing opposite Keira Knightley in the mysterious and passionate Therese Racan. We're here at Studio 54 to talk to the British stage and screen star about his return to Broadway. Matt, thank you so much for doing this today. Well, thank you for You're having me. You're back on Broadway mm -hmm. after starring opposite Jude Law in 2009 in Hamlet. Mm -hmm. What was it about this play, this role, that made you think, yes? Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a fantastic piece, and what's great about it is the character's journey, you know, where we start off with him as a, as a charming, outgoing guy who's a survivor. He'll make the best of any situation. You know, he's down on his luck, he's mm -hmm. poor, he doesn't have much money, but, you know, he's finding his way in this, in this cruel world. Uh, and where he ends up is just it's just a crazy journey how to get from point a to to that was uh, was one of the biggest challenges and, and what attracted me to the role it's a very mysterious play isn't it for those mm. who know nothing about about it tell me a little bit about Therese well, Rakan Therese Rakan is uh, about uh, a woman in a loveless marriage who's kind of a little bit like a caged animal uh, uh, her, her family surrounding family don't pay much attention to her and she's someone who wants to be free and and kind of find find her place in the world uh, they move to Paris and uh, uh, her husband brings home an old, an old friend, and, uh, which That'll is my you. character, and they kind of embark on this, this wild, passionate love affair and fall in love with each other. And uh, the consequences of that are disastrous for everyone. And uh, the play ultimately is about what happens to people when they give in to their most base primal urges uh, without any conscience or any uh, kind of morality and uh, uh, the consequences of those actions. And your leading lady in all this is Keira Knightley, which must be yeah. a dream come true. Yeah, she's fantastic. She's great to work with, you know. Uh, the whole rehearsal process was so much fun and, and she's open, she's up for getting in and getting the work done. And uh, You have some very intense scenes. I mean, we don't want to do spoiler alert here, not too many spoilers, but it's, it's, there's a lot of passion going on, isn't there? Yeah, there is. I mean, the, 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 the play is about desire, you know, and giving in to desire, and uh, that, that's one of the key elements of the play. And, yeah, it's, it's, it's great It's great working with her and Judith Light, yeah. who, uh, who's absolutely fantastic, and Gay Bebert and the rest of the cast. And, uh, yeah, we all... It's, it's not the, uh, the, the, the most funny of, uh, funniest of plays in terms of it's not that light, but uh, we all go out there and try to enjoy it as much as we can every night. Now, we are sitting on stage in this incredible set, which took my breath away. There is mm. an actual river behind yeah, us. Yeah, right. Um, how, how, how it, it, you fall into the river. You, yeah, you, it's actually you go quite warm. On the river. Really? Yeah, yeah. There was a few shows when they were trying to work out the temperature <laughs> where it was a bit cold, but uh, they've got it at a good temperature now. It's like taking a, a nice warm bath. But I mean, it's pretty extraordinary to be, you know, in the middle of Manhattan, sitting on a in a pool like rowing. You know, I mean, that is, that's pretty extraordinary. It's now, pretty cool. Now, true or false, there were rubber ducks involved at one point in the rehearsal process. Uh, well, there was when we, we, there we first are. came here. And we, we got on our, you know, our shorts and our T-shirts and we weren't in costume. We, we, we got mm. in the water to get used to it and get used to the boat. And, and yeah, I think, I think there were. I've blocked that out somehow. I don't know why. Fair enough. Now, you come from Wales in the UK. I do, which yes. Which is a, a while away from London. But yet, yeah, I've been doing some reading. You starred as Gavroche in Les Miserables, is that right? I did, yeah, when I was... In the West End? Yeah, when I was like 10 or 11 or something. So how do you, from Wales, end up making a West End debut age 10? I mean, mm. that's extraordinary. Yeah, it was great. I mean, like, my, I come... My mother's a dance teacher. She has okay. a, a dance school in, in Swansea, and... Uh, uh, I kind of did some stuff when I was when I was younger, and uh, and doing Limes was one of them. I, I I booked an audition somehow. I don't I can't remember, but uh, yeah, and I got the role, and, and it was it was an amazing experience. I had to take a lot of time off school, which I loved, of course. and uh, travel to London and, and and do the show. And uh, what a great experience, you know. Did you always know from that point on that you wanted to be on stage? Was it then that the bug really bit you? I did, yeah. But I went through a, a period of about five years of my life when I was in um, comprehensive school or, or, yes. or high, high school, school they call it. where uh, I, I didn't want to do it at all. Oh, really? And I used to ride motorbikes and uh, I wanted to be a mechanic and uh, kind of I used to like run around the village green and I was just, you know, growing up being a boy, you know, mm -hmm. doing stuff that, that boys want to do. And uh, yeah, so there was, a, there was a period where I didn't do anything for a while. And I actually think that that stood me in good stead, you know, because uh, I think sometimes when people do things when they're younger and then they carry on, you know, it can lead to um, not great, uh, you know, it. it might not be a great thing but those five years of my life were actually great because I just got to be a kind of normal kid and then got back into it naturally. Now this means you can hold a tune right? 
Uh, yeah, yeah. So are we going to uh, see you on Broadway in a musical next? Uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, I haven't done a musical since, since I left drama school. Um, I'm, I'm not too sure if that's what I want to do, you know. I, I, I prefer more of, the, more of the straight acting, but uh, I loved it at that time. And, uh, and, and I play guitar and I sing, so I take, I take those, those things out on my guitar. Fair enough. <clears throat> So you've obviously had a huge stage career, um, Shakespeare, a lot of Shakespeare plays mm. and so forth, but also a massive screen career as well. I mean, how did that transition go for you? Uh, I mean, I left drama school and then uh, pretty much went straight into the Royal Shakespeare Company mm. for two seasons playing lead roles. It was a baptism of fire and it was amazing and what a, uh, an extraordinary thing to do and an uh, extraordinary opportunity. And then. Uh, I had done th almost three years at the Royal Shakespeare mm -hmm. Company and they asked me back to do the history plays, which was another three years. And I really wanted to do that project because, and it's something that I'd still like to do to this day, but I was kind of all theatred out, you mm -hmm. know? I, I wanted to go and do some, some TV or some film and then I went off and did the Tudors. Yeah. And, uh, and what I love, I've been so lucky to be able to go from TV, film to theatre and, and really, and motion capture even, you know, doing a, a video game, yeah. Assassin's Creed, to be able to jump mediums is, is fascinating to me. And I think that, you know, after you've done theatre for a certain amount of time, you want to go and work on camera. And then after you've done camera for a certain amount of time, you're like, get me back in front of a live audience. And to be able to kind of, you know, jump between those mediums is, is, is something that I, I feel very lucky for. What's your dream role? I mean, what would you love to do next? <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. I don't really have a, a dream role, to be honest. I think that... Um, I read you'd like to do Hamlet. I would like to do Hamlet at some point. I think, but who Hamlet, wouldn't, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's one, of the, one of the greatest plays. So, uh, uh, you know, and I've done the play yeah, before, course, yeah. but I played Horatio. And I think that, you know, I've had enough distance from it now that uh, and kind of feel about the right age that uh, at some point I'd like to tackle it. But, you know, who, as I said, who wouldn't? But, I mean... Um, uh, what's great is to be able to do uh, as many versatile roles as possible, like doing something from this, which, like this, which is quite heavy, to maybe go to something, uh, something more in, in, the, uh, in comedy, for yeah. instance, would be great to do. And I was reading you've got a production company, is that right? So I do, yeah. Is that yeah. where you might be going in the future, a bit more writing? And yeah, writing? I mean, I love, I love making my own stuff. I haven't done anything for a couple of years because, yeah. thank God, I've been so busy. But uh, I, I, I write with a friend of mine, Joseph Morgan, who's from Wales originally as well, and uh, he's on a TV show. And mm -hmm. He lived in Atlanta when I was doing my TV show, Amazing. and we lived opposite each other. But we saw each other for like five minutes. You know, we, uh, I borrowed a few tea bags off him at one point. This is very important. This is, you know, yeah, what we do is yeah, tea bags, tea. yeah, you, you've got to have a cup of tea. But a proper cup of tea as a well. A proper cup yeah. of tea, yes, yes, PG tips. Yes. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, I mean, we have a film that hopefully will be out next year called 500 Miles North, mm -hmm. which is starring me, myself and Joseph Morgan. We've done two feature films together now, which we have uh, uh, co-produced and starred in. And it's great being able to play with one of your best friends and, you know, play different roles as well. So, um, so that's something that I'd like to do more of in the future. So, final question, mm -hmm. what do you hope audiences experience seeing Therese Rakan? I hope that they experience something that they've, like they've never seen before, especially on Broadway. Uh, it's the type of play which is a classical story, but they, people don't know the plot. So I think that uh, what, we're, what, what you're getting is, is something surprising, uh, something that takes you on an emotional ride, uh, and, and also funny at times, in times as well, you know, and as I said, something that's kind of unique, I think. And in an epic, epic setting. In an epic setting, in the old Studio 54. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.